Um, can you talk a little bit about unions and agents and why you need them and do you need them anymore? Um, so I think you do need unions because eventually you want to be a professional actor. Eventually you want to have insurance and all of that is going to be through the union. Uh, and so the more people that work outside of the union, the more it weakens the union. So you always have to keep that in perspective. Um, you know, obviously, certainly in theater, you have to start out non-union just to get the experience. And, you know, a lot of people earn their membership, equity membership candidacy points, mm -hmm. which I think is a brilliant use of that program because by the time you become union, you have a certain level of experience in professional theater. So I think the EMC track, obviously, if you want to make any kind of money in theater, you have to be union. Yeah. So um, in terms of film and television, I know more commercial stuff is going non-union and it really, really hurts us. Um, so I want to say that's not the way to go, even though it seems like an easy way to get into the industry. I think it's easy enough to find an agent and audition for union stuff and then get into the union or taft heart late if you need to be. I don't think there's a real reason to to stay in that non-union world. Yeah, you know, you, it, ultimately, I think you just have to think of your long game. And while it's easy right now to go, oh, I can do this non-union job now and do that non-union job now, you have to think long term. And the more you stay in non-union and the longer you do, the more it weakens the union so that when you do become a union member, they don't have that negotiating power and there are fewer jobs available to you. Wow. So I'm a firm believer in the unions. Uh, wow. And I absolutely think it's, in when it comes to theater, I think you shouldn't join too early. I think you should use that EMC track to take your time to get into the union. When it comes to SAG-AFTRA, not so much. I think you should absolutely take classes, take on-camera classes, study as much as you can, but join the union as soon as you can. I like that. If that's helpful at all. It is. I, I think it's helpful. But yeah, especially because you have that expectation once you join the union, especially in theater, that you're known, you have a, a certain, like, certain, not following per se, but I guess following would be right, um, right. A, good, a good example nowadays. So it's like the longer yeah. you take, the more, the more. It is, it's, it's different. different because if you, if you join the union too early in theater before you have a chance to sort of make a name for yourself, they don't know you well enough to want to take a chance to use an equity contract on you. Yeah. Um, but with SAG after it's completely different. It's just about are you the look that they want? Do you have the talent that they need? It doesn't necessarily matter whether they know you or not. They eventually will if you're talented. Yeah. And SAG after is the Screen Actors Guild, so TV and film. Yep. So it was SAG, which is Screen Actors Guild, and they merged with the other union that covered television and film, which was AFTRA. Uh, another SAG after one great big union. 